Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we have the gameplay and review of Kin Triton in Disney Mirrorverse. So if you are new, please leave a like and subscribe for more videos on the channel. And also follow my Twitter down in the description down below to stay updated when I do uploads. But a quick disclaimer, I am part of the KCP, the Kabam Creator Program, where I get these Guardians every single month to make videos on them. After a certain amount of time, these Guardians get removed from my account, so I do not benefit from having them on my account. Now, Kin Triton is a tank Guardian. Many people thought he would be a melee or ranged guardian, but he's actually a tank. So starting off the core ability, Kin Triton is immune to burn. Now this is obvious, he lives in the ocean, so it makes sense he's immune to burn. So Kin Triton's heavy attack have a 50% chance to purge all attack buffs from enemies hit. So purge basically means removes these attack buffs that enemies gain. Most of Kin Triton's utility comes from his special ability, which is what we're going to be moving on to now. So Kin Triton pulls all enemies within a large radius around him to his current location, dealing 200% damage to each target and rooting them for 2 seconds. So rooting is so important in Disney Mirrorverse. So a worm pull appears at his feet with a 10 second duration when active kin triton gains brace now what is brace brace protects target from any stun knockback and pushback effects this does not prevent knockback from special abilities so enemies hit by kin triton's heavy attack whilst within his worm pool become rooted for four seconds now this is really op because you can actually root lock basically what you can do is just continuously spam your heavy attack against your enemies whilst they are in this whirlpool, pool and they can't even move they're just going to be continuously rooted for this 10 second duration. You can do this to bosses. Anybody that can get rooted, you can just root lock them for this 10 second period. So this is absolutely OP. So Kin Triton gains 2% armor for each enemy within his worm pool. This effect activates every 1 seconds. So you could be gaining 2% armor every 1 seconds, but it can increase depending on how many enemies are in your worm pool. So you want to gather all enemies in a certain location, activate your special ability, which activates the worm pool. And the more enemies you have in your worm pool, the more armor you're going to actually gain. So moving on to the signature ability, Kin Trident gains a 50% direct damage resistance to shock. So when Kin Trident activates his worm pool, other allies gain brace for 6 seconds. Just like Kin Trident himself, they're also going to gain brace, which will make them immune to stun, pushback and knockback. So we're going to move on to the talents now. We're going to start with the first advanced talent. So when Kin Trident's heavy attack purges all attack buffs on a target or inflicts root, he gains a 38% defense buff that lasts 10 seconds. Now this can stack up two times and we all know from his core ability he can actually purge these attack buffs and he can also inflict root from his special ability so he has basically a guaranteed chance to gain defense buffs that last for 10 seconds so moving on to the second advanced talent so it increases the duration of kin trident's root effects by 2.3 seconds so this is going to be longer root this is amazing as well so moving on to the last advanced talent this is the most important one it's the best one in my personal opinion so kin trident gains 36 percent armor when he gains brace other allies gain 17 percent armor when he gains brace so you can gain brace from using your special ability and also your allies can get it through the signature ability which you need king trident at a four star or above always have this advanced talent applied to kin trident so we're going to move on to the elite talent now so enemies within kin trident's worm pool are inflicted with 13 points 7% damage per second so this can increase the higher you get this talent you want to use your special ability get them all in there you're going to gain armor and at the same time they're going to take direct damage so this is a great talent to apply so now moving on to the traits kin trident is a tool he's a leader blade wielder royalty and seafaring some amazing traits there the leader tower the seafaring tower royalty tower absolutely incredible amazing traits there it's going to be so good for so much content so what's my overall thoughts on kin trident now personally i think he looks absolutely incredible when i started playing him instantly i got the same feeling i got when i started playing with violet where she was just completely op and you can just tell she was just going to be a really important guardian going forth in disney mirrorverse and i see the same with kin trident he is by far my favorite guardian of this year his design his animations the way you play him he's just so good my only concerns with him maybe is when you start a fight you kind of just take direct damage you want to build up to your special ability once you get your first special ability activated you're going to start gaining that armor but before that you are kind of at risk of dying so you want to get to your special ability as quick as possible you're going to take direct damage so you maybe want someone like Scrooge McDuck in the fight who will automatically heal you up before you use that first special ability but after that 
once you get it off he is incredible so at the moment if I have to rate him out of 10 I'm going to give him an 8.5 out of 10 I'm definitely going for him in these crystals I'm going to save up all my orbs and I'm going for him because he is amazing so we're going to get into some gameplay now so you guys can get a feel for him if you did like the video please leave a like and subscribe for more and I'll see you in the next one peace out